it's Kirby and today I'm gonna be doing a desk tour because I want you guys to see sort of like my setup and stuff and I'm recording with my phone right now so it's gonna be like not the best quality but I will make it I will make it work okay so in full view this is my desk okay yeah yeah oh and the thing at the corner you'll see it's my pop socket um, I might just, I don't know if I can take it off, hold on. Okay, I fixed it. I just rotated it. It's basically Bond from Spy Family or Spy X Family. I call it Spy X Family. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start off over here. I can't get this area off. I've had this desk for like five years and I'm, I'm yeah, it's been there for a while. So we have this little like, uh, fake plant thing with this. And I really like this. I forgot where I got it. Um, and it was only like $13 and I bought it. I don't know, I just really liked it. I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, uh, but yeah. And then on top, next to that we have this little calico cat mochi. Oh my gosh, it's perfect when I'm just doing art and I just, ugh, I love it so much. I have some other mochis on my display shelves. And then I have this little like, uh, oh, let me turn this off. I don't think that helped at all, but if you can see it, great. I have an old phone, so, um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but, uh, it's like this butterfly with moons on top and stuff. It's really cool, and it's a stand I got, a little coaster thing I got. Okay, you may be able to see it better like that. Honestly, it's just, uh, I really love it. And then I put this right there. And then I put my Kalakuji. And then over here, I have this little, like, salt lamp thing that changes colors. And I cannot figure out how to turn this thing off. Um, but I would say if you're going to get one of these, definitely make sure you have an area to where you can turn it off at night because it is obnoxiously bright. Okay, guys, when I was saying it was obnoxiously bright, this is what I mean. Like, it's over there in the corner. Like, my whole- oh, whoa, that zoomed out a lot. But my whole room is dark, with the exception of, like, a curtain. And that thing is just, like, shining bright. <laughs> like, guys, it is super bright, and it will keep you up. And then... I'm gonna show you guys, like... So here's this little, like, tree thing. I forgot what they were called, but I love these. This one is... Um, my second favorite out of the two I have, but I like am obsessed with these. Like, oh my gosh. And she literally sheds everywhere. And I have a dog that sheds everywhere, so that's wonderful. Okay, over here I have my Gudetama poster. And I have the, a CD I painted of Gudetama. And then I have two candles I got. One is for, um, prosperity and the other one is just a rainbow candle and then i have a tree back here this one's my favorite and then here's my lamp moving on this thing right here is um i went to a farmer's market with my mom and the other one is right here and another one is on a different part of my desk um and i got these things and they're 3d printed and they're like sparkly and stuff and like each of them does something so i'm gonna like set my phone up right here um, so this one, it like, and I can't really see it on the phone, I'll try to put it back here, but it can sit on its tail. And it also reminds me of like, M Melly Martinez, The Void. I don't know why. Okay, here we go. It can stand on its tail that, like, whenever I found that out, I was like, oh my gosh. And then this bat, I'm holding it with my hand, by the way. Oh. Uh, it has this back piece in the middle, and if you press down on it, its wings pop up, and then its feet are, uh, it can hook onto things, and it can stand sort of like that. Um, and yeah, these are the two things. I keep this on my stand over here because I don't really have room for it on my desk, um, and I need to get more shelves and stuff because... I down, not downgraded, but I upgraded to like a smaller room because I moved houses. Space for much stuff. 
uh but yeah okay and then we have the my whole miku section and you guys are like you guys may be like that's not a lot of miku stuff well i have some stuff up here too um uh they're like these miku blind box sort of things i don't know i saw someone i saw um a youtuber i know unboxing i'm like oh my gosh i want one of those and so i got i went to this like sort of like anime store near me like it i can't say the name because it's it's only in an area around me like there's no other places with it so it'd be really easy to find me um and i'm not gonna do that but it is uh this little like miku thing and i got so the set i really wanted is i wanted this one this one um uh, a little bit on this one i didn't really want that one i didn't really want this one i really this was the one i wanted the most i didn't really want this one i would be okay with that one and the ones i ended up getting were this one this one this one this was the first one i got and then i got these two and um oh wait none of the ones over here so i've got all of I got these three, and I'm gonna try to find more because I'm absolutely obsessed with these, and they were so cute. Um, and anyways, there's just like a little uh, thing, then there's a Miku box, and then there's this little Miku fig figurine, and a Miku plush, and then her little green onion, and then a bag with a keychain on it. I need a new phone. It's a Miku keychain. Um, and then over here on the shelf, there's like this little Miku poster thing and then a wallet and then a stand. And then there's a CD and it has, oh my God, where did the CD go? Okay, I'm not able to find it. I'll try looking another day. Um, we have this like automatic vacuum thing and I think, oh my gosh, it's right here. <laughs> Okay, it's a little Miku CD. It will show. I'm gonna get like an actual camera because I've been using my phone for everything. And I have YouTube. I'm, out, I'm able to access YouTube on my phone now so the video quality will be a little bit better. Anyways, moving on from Miku stuff, I have this cute little cat post-it note holder that my Nona got me. While I was out, I got like these little mini drumstick things. Oh my god, they're so good. I will get back to you once I'm done eating them. Anyways, I got a uh, manga. And this is the only manga I have. It's kind of sad, but I asked for some more and I'm going to buy some more. Um, I have three Danganronpa and I have one Noragami. I swear, Noragami is... The anime is like half as good as a manga, and the manga is amazing. Okay, and then we have oh, sorry about my finger. We have this little organization thing and some stuff on top. Um, I need to do something real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and here in the first drawer, we have my microns, and we, I have this like, um, it's actually from Japan. It's this little, it's uh. It's a pin, but it's erasable, and it actually works, like, really well. Yeah, my friend's mom, one of my friend's mom, will call her, will call her S. S, uh, his mom, Japanese, and she went to Japan and got some stuff for me. And I find it really cool. Also, the place that I go to, oh, ugh, hair everywhere. I had these little, like, octopus things, and remember I drew them in one of my shorts. Um, and they're super cute. Oh! And then I have the seal, and it's also really cute. Next on top, I have Ari, surrounded by sakura flowers, and these didn't come with her, but I found it really cute, and I love Funko Pops, and I love Ari. Like, I'm not in the MHA fandom anymore, but I still love the characters and their designs, and I find them cool. Um, and we have Kirby artist Kirby. I found it in the place that I got all my other stuff. Well, it's called the Anime Sword, and this is what inspired me with my channel name and my channel channel in general. And then this is the Spyx family. Um, it, it's 
actually like this is also from Japan and I need to work on the putting the cover back look it has original designs and like it is so good and it has like little cards and everything and then it has like the designs and the manga and I've asked for this set because oh my gosh I want it so bad I read all of them up to this one right here I haven't read these two but yeah then there's little like things that you can buy and chopsticks I really want this set or the your set I love your your is my favorite character and that's Anya because she's so cute and then there's mugs I like I like the Anya mug the best. I don't really like red in general. I also like the Anya. The best. I couldn't bring this to school and that would be the only thing I'd use it for. And I couldn't bring this to school. I mean, maybe I can. People, I don't think people would really tell what that was. Um, and then we have these little figurines. I actually asked for this one right here. Um, and I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. I'll buy it if I don't. Because I have some money saved up. And yeah, this isn't the way I'm supposed to go, but it like tells you the voice actors and stuff about them. And it's a really cool like little thing. I love it. Okay, moving back to over here. Uh, this next drawer has um, some keychains and stuff. I've got Haikyuu, I've got Danganronpa, I've got Demon Slayer, and TBHK. Okay, I'm gonna move this aside. Up here, we've got like little keychains and stuff. And we've got Bond. Oh, this is where it went. I, okay, this is my little Kirby pin. I've been looking for that. I have up here, we have boba stickers and stickers that are irrelevant to um, boba butter silk stickers. Oh, here they are. Here's a keychain for the Spanish family. And I really want to take these to school, but I'm scared because um, my school, like, every time I bring keychains, they always end up falling off somewhere. And I don't want to risk losing one of these. Um, so yeah. And then down here is all my stickers with the anime and stuff. And then I got some night stickers and all that. Super cute. And up here, I can't really find what to put in here, so I just put some of that music stuff. Those are really big and small ones. I have Into the Night uh, Bath and Body Works. It smells really good. Um, I'm going to put this on my backpack actually. And if I lose it, I'm going to be sad. I think it's just a type of backpack I have because the, the um, thing doesn't really like work with it. But I don't know. Then we have this Mahogany Vanilla. Both of them smell really good. And the one I was the most excited about, I lost. And I'm so sad. And then we have these Ohuhu pastel set swatch string sheets, which I need to put back into the actual thing. And then we have my sketchbook, which I'll be doing a sketchbook tour. I'll show you guys like one piece of art I'm really proud of. I've, already I've like done this art on a short, and here's like <laughs> the page in front of it is just filled with swatches. I don't know if I should show you guys the insides of my desk, because down there I have a blanket, or the top. Okay, I decided on the top first, and um, here's just what it looks like. So I have this, oh my gosh, oh, not again. These keychains, I have Mikey and I have Rachel, and I have this little, very cute little bear keychain, I love it. Then I got a blind bag for Five Below with Inosuke and Gyu in it, and it was cute. I have this fish painting that I did, and I'm actually really proud of it. Um, I have this Gudetama upside down, so cute, and I have this one I really like, it's Toilet Bun Hanukkah Club, and it's so cute, I have your wardrobe plushie, cause yes, this is the other 3D printed animal I was telling you guys about, and I have a book right behind there, it's not a book, it's actually a journal, but whatever. 
Here's the first drawer. We've got <laughs> some art supplies I don't really use. I bought this whole pack of pins for my school year one year, and I didn't even end up using half of it because the teacher said, oh yeah, guys, you'll definitely need this. We'll use it a lot, and we never ended up using it. We've got a pencil case with some things. I don't know what it is. It's a fine um, we got a whole array of pins. This cute little pencil with a cat box. Um, some designer pins and stuff. A uh, lead refill, which I need that a lot. And a pencil. Just th these are what I use for highlights because they're the Mr. Pin like white things. And I meant to get like one of those highlight things that actually show up a lot better, but I didn't end up getting it. Here's right out. If you go down here, I have this little thing. I don't know what it's used for, but it's fancy. It's like in a fancy case. Okay, you open it up. You know, like, I don't know how to show you guys. You can see the phone in it. And, um, it's really cool. I like it. And I just kept it. Ow! As you can see, I'm really clumsy. We got some Sharpies and some metallic pins. I love these. These are so good. And then we got a box of really good pencil sharpeners. It's these, but in different colors. And my friend drew an eye on it that I can't erase. So thank you. Thank you, V. Thank you. That helped. We got some other pencil sharpeners because I'm really bad about that. We've got some of these. And we got some index cards. That's it for the first drawer. Okay, we. This has become a mess. It was really organized at first. Okay, we got some tape and we got these. I'm gonna reorganize this real quick. We got erasers and which I got a whole bunch of needed erasers. And we got some of these for um, drawing. This is a whole thing of tape because I'm really bad about keeping up with tape. There's some dividers for my little thing up here, but I didn't end up using these. Uh, we got ramen notes from Meow Wolf and I bought these for me and I haven't used them yet, but I think they'll be really useful. And we got some stickers down here. We need erasers back. I try to make these all nice and neat, but whenever I close it, it just ends up getting messed up anyways. We got a mouse for school once I need to use it. I'll put it back there. And then, yeah, the marker bags. The only one that's like not messed up is the San Joaquin one. By the way, guys, if you are looking for like cheap markers that are good quality and that can last a while, I 100%, I 1150% like percent recommend the San Joaquin art markers because let me just show you guys. This isn't sponsored, obviously, but. It comes in this cute little case that you can rather, it's like, can be a shoulder bag or you can do it by hand. Okay, I can't buckle that, but anyways, you just open this. And the, these are not in order, but they come with so many good quality markers. And it comes with even like um, a sketch pad and a swatch sheet. And it comes with a bunch of stuff actually. And it's pretty good for the price. It's like $40 for all these markers and all this stuff. And the bag doubles as some other things. So Okay, you can make it into a stand. And like, these were my go-to markers. I loved these. Let me show you guys some pieces I did with, this, with these markers. Because I only got my pastel of Hoogles like a couple months ago in June. And so the first few pages of this are just... Okay, here's the opening, I guess. It's Yoi Mia because I did this on July 4th. Yay! And these were purely with Sanjoki art markers. Like, don't mind the fireworks, they're ugly but like look at this blend look at look at these details you can do and um ignore her i i was like very lazy on her thing um some other things i did purely okay the rest of the sketchbook has like a mix of the two so i'm not gonna show you guys the rest but i'm gonna get one of my older sketchbooks okay this is a sketchbook i did a sketchbook tour of and as I did, I did this with Sanjoki art markers, and I really love the TBHK style. I think I got the shading and like the how they color the colors and the line work down. I did it with a pen and Sanjoki. And then, ew, ignore that, Sayu. I did this whole piece with Sanjoki. 
Okay, I did this whole piece with Sanjoki. So bad, so bad. I did this with Sanjoki. I did this with Sanjoki. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, Mia. <laughs> Looks like she has a beard instead of like looking down because I messed up on the shading. Um, and I couldn't go back and fix it, but I do like Connie and I like Mia's clothes. I don't like her. Like, I was still trying to figure out like her whole. Oh, yeah, I forgot the, the hand on. Them. Yeah. I was trying to figure out her whole like hair mess and I couldn't figure it out. This is original and this is a redo. This is like a good drawing. I love the legs. Like, I love how I draw them. Mio. Mio. <gasps> Not Mia. Anyways, I did this all with Sanjoki. Okay, here's the bottom drawer. And here's some of my setup. Some of it. And here's like my all my notebooks and stuff and this little craft thing. And then um, some other stuff. And yeah. And I'll show you guys what's in here. Okay, the first thing we got is the Funko Pop. I love it so much. And I got it for Christmas one year. And then we have my setup for whenever I'm drawing or I'm doing like a vlog or I'm, you know, just the videos I do. Uh, this was really cheap and it it's really simple to put together. I think I'm going to show you guys actually, yeah. I'm going to show you guys. And then here's the pieces of it. Here's my old pencil set from last school year. Um, and then just some other stuff. And here's my Prisma colors. I was obsessed with like buying the pencils and using them. Here's my oldest markers. I'm gonna show you guys these in a second. This is from fourth grade. This is terrifying. That isn't a nose, that's a human face, but she had dog ears. Um, that is terrifying. Pushing that back, I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put those back in here. Oh, wait, uh, I don't know if this has my name on it. Oh yeah, this doesn't have, have my name on it. Okay, okay, okay. Here, here's a book. Uh, fourth grade, we had to write stories, and we had to, every single day, we had to write a story based off a prompt. Here's one. Here's chapter one, and there's some drawings. I see her, my mom. She's a beautiful, wonderful woman. I thought she was dead. I look over and back again. Oh, I said softly. She is an illusion. She is dead. Why must you worry? An itty bitty voice said. I fell off my bed on ac ascend, ascend, ascend it. accident. Who are you? I'm your protector. What? I'm your protector. I watch over you. Um, I don't think so. Well, I was your mom's protector. And her mom's dead? Like, girl. Anyways. What is your name? I said. I know my name. But what is yours? She said. Fine, I said. My name is Novella. Okay, and my name is... Wait, I said. Huh? I just want a goose, I guess. I said, okay, she said. I'm guessing Norla Lavaccia. Oh my god, these names. Norla Lavaccia. What, what did I write? Crosono. Oh, Norla Lavaccia Crosono. I said, um, no. Oh, man. I said, okay, I was very crackhead. Yeah, that was my little story. <laughs> um, I was a very great writer in first grade. Anyways, first grade, fourth grade, sorry. Um, here is the very first marker set I used. I got, and, uh, this is like a, like, I can't remember. It, uh, this set, I, I wouldn't really recommend it to beginners. Actually, I would recommend this to beginners because these are pretty cheap. And they do bleed a lot. Um, and they will dry out. But it came with some other stuff like fine liners. Okay, so here's all the pieces of my setup. A good, sturdy setup. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open this stand part up. And open it like this. You can adjust it. So like if you don't like the size and you need it to be wider, you can make it wider. This stick goes. And then after that, you're going to, this part comes right here. I just took it off because it's a convenience for me. Basically you want to put this on top. Then you want to take, oh, on the bottom, sorry. 
you want to take this and you kind of just want to screw it in okay this is what it looks like and you can just like kind of bend this any way you want oh i haven't used this in a while so it's kind of uh, but anyways you bend it and yeah that's pretty cool and then after that you take this part which you may be like okay a phone cannot fit in that and all you have to do to put it on is the same thing you did for the last one you just sort of and after it's screwed in you put your phone in it and you can adjust it any way you want and it's really simple and it's easy to take apart easy to put back together okay guys well that's the end of it thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed and i'm thinking of maybe showing you my display shelves next um, and by the way, for my next video, I'm going to be drawing Project Sukai characters because I do play it and it's so much fun. Um, so even if you don't play, kind of like just, um, search up character names and see any of the ones you want me to draw. I will not draw any of the boys because I'll make a separate video on that because I struggle with drawing the male characters. But, um, yeah. Also, I want to thank you guys so freaking much for 70 subscribers 70 subscribers oh my gosh that is oh my god that is a lot of subscribers i can't believe 70 people watch me like that is amazing and i love you guys so much and i will see you another time